Hello and welcome to Thoughtful Thursdays with Pastor Kristen. Um, coming to you from a little different place today. Um, I had a meeting this morning that got moved up a little bit and so I was rushing out of my house and left my ukulele at home. And so um, I'm coming to you today from the piano. We're going to see if we can make this work on the piano, um, maybe even better than it was working on the ukulele. So uh, this Sunday, we will hear in worship the parable of the sower, um, who sows extravagantly seed everywhere he goes, um, some of it landing on rocky soil, some of it landing among the weeds, um, some of it growing up in, in good soil. And so we will hear... Uh, We'll hear what that means for us, that story of the, the sower and the soil and how all of that fits together. Still coming together in my head about how we're going to talk about that on Sunday. Um, but as we're talking about sowing seed, uh, the story of another sower um, that we are likely all familiar with came to my mind this week. And that is the story of John Chapman, or as most of us probably know him, Johnny Appleseed. Um, I have my apple with me. You can't see it. It's off camera, but I do have my apple with me as a representation of dear Johnny Appleseed. Um, but for those of you who might not know his story, uh, he was born in Massachusetts in 1774 and lived until 1845. I have to double check my notes. <laughs> um, but he was someone who traveled throughout Pennsylvania and Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois uh, planting apple trees. And a lot of the legend of Johnny Appleseed is that he just kind of scattered seed everywhere he went. Uh, but he was actually very intentional about starting nurseries and putting up fences to protect them from animals and um, intentionally bringing apples to people, um, leaving them in the care of others as he went on, um, but always coming back to check on those nurseries or orchards that he planted. Um, but the other interesting thing about Johnny Appleseed is that he didn't only sow the seed of apples, he also shared, tried to plant the seed of God's word as well, um, often sharing the Beatitudes with people um, and sharing his own faith with people as he journeyed around uh, sowing apple seeds. And so he both sowed the seeds of apples, helped those trees to grow, um, but he also sowed the seed of God's word. And uh, as we talk about, we know that we might sow lots of seeds of God's word. And then um, it is, we are not the ones who make those seeds grow, but it is God working in the people um, who have those seeds planted that continues to help those seeds grow uh, in our lives. We have all had those seeds planted for us, and we are called to plant those seeds as well. And so uh, I thought it would be a fun day to celebrate Johnny Appleseed a little bit. And so many of you probably have at least, at least heard uh, the Johnny Appleseed song. It is often used as a table grace, at least the first verse. Um, there are a few more verses that I didn't even know about, um, or at least didn't remember until I started doing a little digging this week. And so um, we'll, we'll share those with you and feel free to sing along.
especially as I sing that today. I'm super grateful for the rain that we got yesterday. Um, trusting that God gives us those things that we need, sun and rain and apple seeds or the seed of God's word. And so um, I think uh, I think as I read through, sang through these extra verses, for me, it was especially powerful to think about these verses, not only in terms of the apple seeds that Johnny planted, but especially in terms of the seeds of God's word. And so thinking about those lives that were changed uh, by God's word that he shared. So in case you have not heard these uh, second and third verses, here goes. And, and every seed I sow becomes a little, uh, will grow into a tree. Sorry, got that wrong. Here we go. Let's try that again. And every seed I sow I promise I did it straight through a couple of times without the camera on, and now that the camera's on, I'm messing it up. But that is why the piano is John's instrument and not mine. Here, we'll try that last verse again. I wake up every day as happy as can be because I know that with God's care, the apple tree will still be, still be there, the And so, like I said, those last couple of verses, thinking about that every seed Johnny sows will grow into a tree. That says a little bit something about the fact that he was not just scattering them. Because we know from the parable of the sower that some of those seeds get eaten up by birds. Or some of them sprout up and then die because the soil isn't good. Um, or they get choked out by weeds. Um, and so there's lots of ways that seeds that are planted might not grow. But Johnny has faith that every seed he sows will grow into a tree. And someday there will be apples there for everyone in the world to share. And what a great image is that of our planting seeds of faith. That someday those seeds will grow into someone who will share and provide apples and seeds and faith for those who come after them. And that we can, can spend each day happy as can be, or at least wake up that way maybe, um, knowing that those seeds that have been planted, the seeds that were planted in us, the seeds that we help to plant will grow up and that they will continue to be passed on and grow into trees that everyone in the world can share. Um, the Lord truly has been good to us and helps us to not only receive the seed of God's word and have that seed grow in us, uh, but also so that we may grow and bear fruit, maybe not literal fruit that we are growing, um, but that we are able to bear fruit uh, and to share that fruit, the fruit of God's love and grace, God's word with those that we encounter. And so this week, as you think about what it means to sow the word of God, to share some seed, apple seed with the world, um, I encourage you to remember Johnny Appleseed and these words that we remember that the Lord is good to us, that the Lord provides us with what we need, and that the seed that is sown in us 
helps us to then sow that seed in others. I hope that you will join us for worship on Sunday at 930 in person here at All Saints and on Facebook and posted to YouTube by 11. Um, hope that you all are having a good week, that you are um, being nourished by rain, or if you have gotten too much rain lately, like some places in our country, that you are drying out um, and finding the resources that you need in the midst of all of that. Um, know that we are praying for uh, whatever it is that you need where you are, uh, whether that is more sun or more rain, uh, but also know that God is with you and that God continues to watch out for you and to be present with you in all that life brings. Uh, have a great weekend and remember that God loves you and so do I. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.